Alright, welcome to the LED Info Test Lab. Today we're reviewing the Viper Spectra XS1000. And this is one of the newer Viper Spectra models. This unit came out in 2020. So we're pretty excited. We're happy that we were able to get our hands on one of these. We've been reviewing the lights that are for sale on eBay and Amazon. This is our 19th video review, and we made a list of uh, all the lights that we reviewed, along with the links that's in the description section. So if there's another light that you're interested in, check it out. It's possible that we've already reviewed it. We test each light the same. We do a full PPFD grid. We also compute the DLI, that's the daily light integral. And then we test each light in-house for the actual watt usage. Now, for those of you that may have questions regarding the terminology, uh, PPFD, DLI, on our website, which is ledinfo.org, we have plain language, what I think are pretty easy to understand explanations of those terms and others. So, you know, for those of you that are interested, that information is available. All right, so here is the Viper Spectra XS1000, brand spanking new right out of the box. The light uses quantum board technology. It has an 11.5 by a 10 inch quantum board. It has 252 LEDs. According to the specification sheet, the light uses white light, warm white light with additional red and infrared LEDs. And this will produce a natural sunshine type of spectrum, which seems to be the trend these days. Growers especially like the infrared LEDs. They feel that it helps their plants flower more profusely. Now there's a lot to like about this light. It uses the very high quality Samsung LM301B LEDs. And it also sports a Meanwell driver, which is one of the top brands of driver on the market today. So that's a nice combination. It has an easily accessible dimmer switch, which is a nice feature. So I'm ready to go. Let's hustle over to the LED Info test chamber and we'll see what kind of numbers this one produces. All right, we've been reviewing the Viper Spectra XS1000. We have the Viper Spectra in the test chamber, ready to go. It's blazing away. It's hung at a level 12 inches of height, and we've taken great care to place it directly in the center of the test chamber. Before we get started, we want to take just a quick minute today to tell you about our equipment that we use. Our test chamber is a very nice two foot by two foot grow tent that was provided to us by Yellow Sky. For our PPFD readings, we use the Apogee MQ500, which is the state of the art for quantum flux meters, so you can feel confident that our readings are going to be very accurate. So we're ready to go. We're going to button up the test chamber, and we'll have that all-important dead center reading here coming right up for you. Okay, so there it is, 993 for the Viper Spectra XS1000. That's 12 inches dead center. I'll complete the full PPFD grid. We'll post that. We'll also post the test lab review sheet. We'll take a stop by the watt meter, we'll see what the actual watt usage is, and then we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. So I want to thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a good one, and we'll see you next time.